All right, so we picked up this uh, Hercules engine here today, and everything is free and moved, etc., which is good news. Uh, it has the governor. I have that in the car. It's just not attached to it, and you know, the valves, the valves all move everything. It's really cool. Trying to see if there's a serial number up here. It says it's a uh, two horse Hercules. So hopefully this will be a project soon. Well, I got a project that I haven't worked on ever since I got it. And that's the two horsepower Jaeger hit and miss engine that I got last September at the Connecticut Antique Machinery Festival show. I literally rolled it off the trailer and pushed it in the garage on a dolly and it's been sitting here ever since. Um, you remember my um, trip to Pennsylvania last fall? And I swapped a magneto to a guy. I've never touched it. So let's take a look at this thing. All right, here's the engine. And let's just look at a couple things. So first off, um, the engine turns over. No issues there. It's not locked up or anything like that. Um, there's some kind of problem with the what I'm going to call latch out here because the valves aren't turning. So we'll come back to that. Over here on the crankshaft, there should be grease cups. Somebody installed grease zerks. Apparently that was a farmer fix. Same thing with down here on a connecting rod. Um, and there's one up here on the governor shaft also. Let's see, what else? Um, these weights on the governor, they're spring-loaded, they still pop. So that's a good sign. Down here on the ignition, uh, a couple things. I bought a spark plug for it, an Autolite 3095 a year ago. <laughs> it's literally, literally sitting in my car for a year on the console, like between the two front seats. I don't know if this is even, yeah, yeah, that fits kind of suspect on the thread depth there. Anyways, we'll uh, come back to that. We might have to clean up these threads a little bit, not sure. Now here's where I got a problem, is that up here on this Wyco mag trip mechanism, there's different orientations of how these things work. And this thing seems to be all messed up. I don't know what the deal is, but the guy had this trip mechanism with it also, which I don't even think is for this engine. I think this is from a stover. It says 42 CTI, which sounds like a stover part number. So I'll just put that up there for now. But with this mag, the way these things work is that the mag mounts on there with those two screws in the back, like so. Um... This area on the bottom here is supposed to hook into this, into that part, but it has to be in a manner where it trips. Now here's the deal. I think this thing is like on here backwards or something because, and of course it doesn't want to pull off. Usually they pull off. Maybe I can finagle it a little bit and get it off or something there's a bolt back here but i gotta go look at another engine but over here a spring is supposed to go between this part and that part this bottom part is frozen and it won't move which is causing it to be stuck against this um, trip mechanism here which is supposed to move up and down that trip mechanism is supposed to hit um, 
this piece over here to actually trip it. So something screwy with this linkage. I, I got some pictures of other people's Jagers from shows and whatnot. So maybe what we'll do is we'll look at some of those pictures as a reference. But I think in essence I need to get this piece off of here and free up this piece down here so that this trip will work right. I believe these trips are the same on every engine. So if I looked at my my Stover engine that has a Wyco mag, it should have the same trip mechanism there. They call them drives. And I wanna say there's three types, type one, two, and three. This might be a type two drive, but they're the same thing on all the manufacturers. So I think Wyco actually made the parts and they tri tripped all their mags. So that's what we gotta figure out first. All right, so I went back and looked at some videos on my other engines, and this is all screwed up. So I just happened to notice there's a nut back here, and it's coming off with just my fingers. It wasn't even tight. And that will allow me to pull this whole shaft out. So that's cool. Now, this thing has got all pressure against it from this spring here. So if I pull this out, it might go flying. Yep, there we go. Now, let's see what happens if we turn over the flywheels now. Yeah, now we got valves that move. So that's good news. Let's see. Yeah, that valve's going in and out. The intake valve here moves freely. So we got no issue there. This moves freely. Nice little spring under there. That's all springy. So... The problem here is that this whole thing is, uh, for lack of a better term, ass backwards. So that came right off, so that's cool. And yeah, this thing should be in here like this, where the mag is on the right side and not the left. There's supposed to be, this screw here is supposed to come in from the other side and there's supposed to be a little piece of metal that goes on here. I don't know what you call it. I'm going to call it a striker plate. And this metal would hit that and trip it. That piece of metal is missing. So we may have to borrow that off a mag from another um, engine that I've got sitting around. So this screw should be on that side. And that little plate should be on there. Then this thing... I believe, let's see, hold on a minute here. Should be put in there like this. Let's see, can't get on there one-handed. Let me put you down, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So now a spring would go between there. Let me just jam this sucker in there just for, just to illustrate this here. Right, this thing would be up here. A spring goes in there. Now, when this lever wants to trip this thing, it's gonna pull it down. That's gonna apply tension on this spring so that after the thing fires, it'll it'll spring back. Um, let me see where, yeah, okay. See how it goes frontwards and backwards? The travel in there, when it goes back, that's when the mag fires. When it goes forwards, that's when the mag is not firing. So there's some kind of, you know, adjustment on here to get that to work right. But, um, oh, we're missing the oiler from the top. I had bought two springs here on eBay from, I want to say, Flywheel Supply. All right. Now, one of these springs is this spring here. I believe that's that one. And the other spring is the one that goes over here, the big one that would go between this part. So I gotta see if I can find one of those trip plates. That's really what I need. Let me see, I got all these parts on this shelf here that are from a Stover engine down here. Um, whoa, that's not an engine part. This is a, a valve grinding stone. Anyways, 
Oh, cool. Here we go. Let's see. What's this here? Is there one on here? No, nope, this is the tripping part. Not the magneto mounting part. I have to go through that box and see if I got one. Even if I have one, I don't want to scavenge it per se. I'd like to have enough parts to put this other engine back together. Oh, that thing's heavy. Let me see what's in here. There's a head in there, a carburetor, the latch out. There's a whole bunch of parts in there, but I don't think that that part's in there. Well, I have two parts, two engines worth of parts that I can take one from. You know how it is when you scavenge parts from things, you never put them back, so I don't like to do that. I'd rather just buy the part, wait a couple days, rather than steal parts from another machine and you know, never get back to that project. And then five years down the road, you're like, where's that part? And you're like, oh crap, I used it on that other engine, you know? So anyway, stay tuned. We're going to order some more parts and then we'll come back to this thing. The oilers we need to get and that little metal clip, whatever you call it. 